Hi, my name is Jack, and today I will be rating Nancy Drew animal characters. This rating will be based on cuteness, helpfulness, and all around how much I like them. The Ghost Dogs from Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Super cute and super scary. Seem like fiends, but are actually friends. 10 out of 5. They're good dogs. Yogi from Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. A good boy. Doesn't do much, but that's okay. 8 out of 5. The Orca from Danger on Deception Island. She's our buddy. Very playful and very sweet. Adorable little Orca. Takes culprit out and saves Nancy. 10 out of 5. Bob from Secret of Shadow Ranch. Old reliable Bob. He's a good horse. Takes us where we need to go without complaint. Runs off at the end of the game though, but that's the culprit's fault. 9 out of 5. The horses from Secret of Shadow Ranch. Not fair that they get to be tied up all day. Not super useful, but that's not their fault. 5 out of 5. The chickens from Secret of Shadow Ranch. Exist just for the thrill of it, and I respect that. That one chicken causes a game over sequence though, and that's not cool. 3 out of 5. Lulu from Curse of Blackmore Manor. A very old parrot. A very annoying parrot. Personally, I hate this bird and I hate conversing with this bird, but she's a helpful friend who's doing her best. 4 out of 5. Yuri from Secret of the Old Clock. This poor cat is one of the ugliest things I've ever seen. Did her not know what a cat looks like? Anyway, meows a lot and can trigger a game over sequence when you're sneaking around in Topham's house, so 1 out of 5. The Rat from Danger by Design. Rat is not actually famous chef Remy from iconic film Ratatouille. Is actually a thief and will steal Nancy's Ichido book. 0 out of 5. The Squirrel from Danger by Design. Squirrel messes up one of the park puzzles and makes an annoying sound. Negative 3 out of 5. Isis from White Wolf of Icicle Creek. The best dog, even though she's actually a wolf. She's a good girl. Gives Nancy a coat so she doesn't freeze. Holds up rope for over an hour so Nancy can get a token. Runs through the tunnel so Nancy can unlock a door. Such a sweet, smart girl. 10 out of 5. Iggy from Legend of the Crystal Skull. A rascal. Messes up bookcase, forcing Nancy to put books back. Gets to dress up in silly outfits, which is fun. We'll only do Nancy's bidding in exchange for low quads. Fair, but it's annoying to get low quads, so 4 out of 5. Bernie from Legend of the Crystal Skull. An alligator! Usually the subject of terror, but this time he emerges as a hero who stops the culprit at the end of the game from escaping. Loves marshmallows. 5 out of 5. The pigeon from the Phantom of Venice. Cute little bird. Transports messages. Does his job and he does it well. 5 out of 5. The Sheep from The Haunting of Castle Malloy. Cute and funky when they get their wool sheared. Annoyingly obstinate when it comes to getting them into the barn, though. 3 out of 5. The Crow from Haunting of Castle Malloy. Not sure if a crow or a raven, but anyway, steals things that Nancy needs and hides them and flies in Nancy's face. Not cool. 0 out of 5. Cuckoo from Ransom of the Seven Ships. Annoying like her grandmother before her. Actually more annoying. Forces Nancy to get perfect perch to give up piece of a puzzle. I will never forgive or forget that transgression. Negative 5 out of 5. The Monkeys from Ransom of the Seven Ships. Cute at first glance, but less cute after losing to them 5,000 times. Not very helpful. Serve more as an obstacle. Negative 4 out of 5. Casper from Warnings at Waverly Academy. A squirrely thief steals from Nancy and forces her to do a dumb acrobatic puzzle to get it back. A squirrel in the Nancy Drew universe is a bad omen. 0 out of 5. The Prairie Dogs from Trail of the Twister. Cute little guys. Not very helpful. Only purpose is to be a puzzle. 2 out of 5. The Mice from Trail of the Twister. Makes everyone uncomfortable. Makes Frosty scream like a soap opera star. Nancy has to do a mice trapping puzzle a thousand times in this game for whatever reason. 0 out of 5. Suki from Shadow at the Water's Edge. Technically a robot, not an animal, but she's cute and does cool tricks, so I'll allow it. Very protective, which I admire. 
Looks very stylish in the collar Nancy wins at the pachinko parlor. Five out of five. Snake from Tomb of the Lost Queen. Evil boy. Only wants to hurt Nancy, but he's only acting in self-defense. Did not ask to be put on Nancy's bed. Stored in a trash can, the poor thing. Four out of five. Hammy, also known as Mr. Skinbag from Ghost of Thornton Hall. Scariest part of this game. Not 100% sure what kind of animal he is, but he's terrifying. Honestly, I hate him. I'm sorry. Negative 10 out of 5. Toomey from Sea of Darkness. A cute dog. Spends most of the time locked in a closet, which is weird. We can't really interact with Toomey, which is a shame, but I don't blame him for that. 10 out of 5. That is it for my animal rating. Which animal characters are your favorites? Let me know down in the comments. Hit subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned for more content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.